Hey, can you believe we're already into the second week of uh, this new decade? I was on vacation visiting family last week. Um, thankfully, I managed to schedule last week's vlog ahead of time, but I failed in getting the blog posted on my website. So I've upla uploaded today's and you can read it at the link I'm sharing in this vlog's commentary box. Wow, it's been crazy. Got me a nasty little head cold, if you can tell. I'm sorry, forgive me. It was cold up in Kentucky. <laughs> okay, so last time I talked about my Magic's Time Split series, the Longevity series, and the Achillean Chronicles, which is the exclusive short story series for my $5 backers over on Patreon. The link to that is also below. And uh, so today, first off, I forgot to show the actual books um, here for, for Longevity. I've got a book one in hardcover and paperback here. Try not to get the glare, but yeah, that's that's them. See, not too long. Um, and you already know the ebook is on Kindle and Nook. And then the uh, the new series for today that I'll be talking shortly is uh, Star Quest. This was my first paperback novel, still in publication, or is I should say. This is actually the second edition. Eventually I plan to do a third edition, but that's not till later this year or next year. But this is actually the first novel in an anthology. There are two ebooks on Kindle that precede the, the novel. I'm planning a third ebook later on in the StarQuest timeline. It will be set after this novel. After that, I have an idea for a sequel novel and even a couple more ebooks along with a third novel set in the far future. This is what I mean by anthology. The basis for StarQuest, uh, there is a team of patriots rebelling against the oppressive United States regime. They were on the losing side, so they've built a spaceship and gone exploring the galaxy for a new world to reform a more free United States. Forgetfulness is set first in the timeline. The team have no memory of who they are at the start. They're slaves to this emperor on an industrial planet. But Hannah notices inconsistencies. She has a dream, of course. She meets some prisoner in the dungeon who claims to be one of her teammates, only he's from a parallel universe. And before I give anything else away, you should check it out on Amazon. Just copy and paste the link below to go there. Now, I'm sorry for now, I have to paste the links in the commentary below in order to share them. YouTube requires forms to sign in in order to post the links in the video these days, and I just don't want to mess with that right now, because I'm not sure how long this will go on. Epics is the next in the timeline. It's only on Kindle, just like Forgetfulness. but a good read and short, too. One of the things I've been told by several friends here lately, the length of my ebooks have actually encouraged them because they haven't been able to finish reading a book in a long time. And with mine, they feel like they've accomplished something because they can actually finish them. So that was very encouraging to me as well. But Epics is set uh, next in the timeline and it's basically when this team get an add-on onto their ship. They meet this new planet and have to do battle with a god. No more given away. Okay, that's all. But you can, you know, click on the link below as well. All right, that's all for today's vlog. Yes, I know it's a little short. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting news and info on my author journey. Thank you so much for any support that you can give. Until next week, have a great life.